You may be familiar with the opening line of famed author Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. Last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again. The gothic classic explores timeless themes as readers navigate the bubbling romance turned sinister thriller. The thing that attracted me to the project was the kind of Russian doll-like smuggling of stories within stories within stories. You can have a horror film that lives inside a thriller that lives inside a romance movie. I can imagine her kind of chuckling as she's writing this thing going, people are going to think that it's about a woman who falls in love with this guy and like their incredible life, but what it actually is going to be is something really dark and, and disturbing. I wanted to go back again to recapture the moments that had gone. And then it came to me that if we did, it would not be the same. Imagine if you could bottle a memory like scent. Then whenever you wanted, you could open it. It'd be like living the moment all over again. Enter this new woman who has this sweetness and purity and almost innocence that certainly the last Mrs. De Winter and the late Mrs. De Winter didn't have any of. De Maurier always said that Rebecca was a study in jealousy. Mrs. Danvers runs the house and has been for the last sort of year or so while Mr. De Winter has been absent and she's quite a formidable character and woman and she is fiercely loyal to the first Mrs. De Winter, to Rebecca. And she laid an emphasis on the words, this wing, as if suggesting that the suite where we stood now held some inferiority. Oh, you can't see the sea from here. No, you can't. Oh, should Mr. De Winter ask for his old wardrobe, I'm afraid you must tell him it, it wouldn't fit here. The, the rooms on this side of the house are much smaller. But this wasn't his bedroom before? Oh, no, no, no. No, Mrs. De Winter's rooms were in the West Wing. Sometimes I felt like Rebecca was as real to me as she was to Mrs. Danvers. I think Mrs. Danvers, it could have been her. She could have been, she could have married somebody like Maxim De Winter, but didn't and ended up as a servant. And I think that's a great, not her tragedy, but her, that's her rage. Glad you're here, Mrs. Danvers. I'll, I'll never remember all this. Oh, I'm sure you won't disappoint him, madam, if that's your concern. It must hurt her every time she heard me called Mrs. De Winter. Mrs. Danvers, does Mr. De Winter ask you to keep the room like this? It doesn't have to. She's still here. Mm. Reveal her. I wonder what she's thinking about you, taking her husband and using her name. I just found that it was something that I felt like could be retold and brought back and would surprise the audience as much as it had surprised me, you know. And I fell for all the twists in it again. You can't go on living in that big old house with a ghost! I don't believe in ghosts. 